I'm here talking with senior Kayleen Goggins. Uh, the Yellow Jackets played the Hard Rockers in a really actually hard fought battle tonight at Alterowitz. What did you talk about going into the game tonight? Um, well, we kind of just talked about how we need to limit our turnovers, um, crash the boards really hard, and defend. So you scored 26 points tonight, new career high for you. Were you just uh, feeling it out there, or did you have a specific goal um, for tonight? They just kind of kept giving me the ball, and uh, they didn't really front in the post, so my team made it easy for me tonight. You also had uh, several rebounds. Um, I know the team's been working on rebounds tonight. Were you just all um, crashing the boards tonight? Yeah, uh, well, we came off a tough loss Monday against Bozeman, and we, we kind of got killed on the boards during that game, so I think that was a main focus for us tonight, so we wanted to really get after it on that end. And several fewer turnovers than our only four team turnovers. Yeah. I take it your team talked about that as well. Yes, we've had a major turnover problem this season, so that was very exciting to land for. So this was the second game of the Yellow Jacket Winter Classic. Tomorrow you guys will play Montana Tech. What are you looking forward to in tomorrow's game? Um, you know, we're going to have to get out there. It's the last game before winter break. Um, obviously we want to end on a good note. So it's going to be a tough, hard-fought game, but hopefully we come out on top. Congratulations, Kayleen. I'm here Thank talking you. with head women's basketball coach Kevin Wooden. Um, after the 91-81 win over South Dakota School of Mines. Kevin, it was a really fun game to watch tonight. Did you have fun watching? Yeah, I did. It was fast-paced. I thought both teams really shot the ball well. I mean, they were darn near 50% from the field, and I think they were 13 for 27 from the three-point line, so give them a, <coughs> a lot of credit there. I thought they moved the ball well. They were difficult to guard, but I think we did the same thing. Uh, you know, I thought we had 18 assists tonight, which was impressive, and I was very happy with our season low of only four turnovers, and I thought we had a very balanced uh, effort offensively, and I don't think our defense was as bad as it might have looked. I think it was just some really good shooting by both teams. So there was a couple times during the game where um, MSUB pulled away, but the Hard Rockers just fought their way back in. Yeah, I, I give them so much credit. Uh, they were well coached, and uh, you know, I felt we had a little bit of a fatigue factor going on. Maybe I think Monday night took a lot out of us playing at Bozeman against a really good team. That was such a physical game, but it's not an excuse. So it just did seem like we'd get six or eight in a row, and then they'd come back with that again. So again, I think the, the teams were both executing, and um, I felt like we were in control of the game in the second half, but uh, they did scare me with that three-point shooting. So Kayleen Goggins had a good night tonight for you, 26 points, which is a new career high for her. Yeah, she's uh, just obviously worked so hard in the off seasons and during her career to, to get better. I mean, it means a lot to her. She plays with such great passion and she's just a, a wonderful young lady, uh, I mean, to coach uh, both on and off the court. So uh, I think what's really neat is how she's improved as a player. Her moves are more decisive, they're quick inside. Uh, she's worked to, to get better from the, the perimeter. Uh, I think she's become a better passer. And I just think our, the players worked really well tonight. They got her the ball deep into the paint and, and she uh, was very decisive with their moves and did a great job. So really quick turnaround for your team. You're gonna have to get ready for Montana Tech tomorrow. How are you gonna get ready for tomorrow? Well, both teams, you know, really don't know a ton about each other. I mean, you can watch all the film you want, but it's it's in person that matters. And I was impressed with them. I thought both Central Washington and Montana Tech played well. It was a hard-fought, low-scoring game, uh, very defensive-minded. Uh, uh, they definitely have great post players in uh, Kabri Emerson and Kayla DeWitt that we're going to have to uh, defend. But I was impressed with their guard play. They didn't turn it over a lot, and they, they made shots there. So it should be a great game. I think both games will be uh, fun to watch tomorrow. Congratulations, Coach, and we look forward to tomorrow's game. Thank you.